Hey, this is Rank Sentimentalist, and this is part two of XCOM Enemy Unknown with the new, uh, well, not so new, new to me, uh, DLC, Operation Slingshot. So, it's March 1st, 6 a.m., 2015, and we're off to mission control. Commander, Dr. Volan reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Well, let's scan for activity. Commander, with this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, we must understand their physiology. Okay, we'll do xenobiology here. Begin that project. Thank you, Commander. I will let you know when this research has been completed. It appears Dr. Shen's staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. I guess it's off to check out engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Yeah, let's build. Four people in the squad, right? And let's submit order. Fabrication of the nanofiber vest is complete, Commander. It has been delivered to the armory. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. New items and weapons from engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory.
The Situation Room. Commander, the Council has requested a word. Hello, Commander. We require your assistance with a unique matter. We expect that you will give it the same level of attention as you would for any other project objective. One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight into the alien's operation. We'll transmit the coordinates now. Farewell, Commander. We know you will not disappoint us. Sounds like we better get to it. Scientists, very nice. Panic reduction. Launch mission. And you can rename all these guys and skin color, hair color. So eventually, yeah, you will uh, you will uh, get pretty attached to these guys. Once they level up from you know from rookies up to uh, you know whether you're hardened veterans. Alrighty, so let's uh, launch the mission. Target extraction. This does not give me a warm fuzzy. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate feedback. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis.
Poisoned. Scratch one. wounded him.
VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. But yeah, it's like the game is very tactical, but at the same time, the interface is very simple.
Commander, good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. I'd say probably the best place to launch that is China. I think this is also going to uh, reduce launch satellite. With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. Now we're going to build uh, this alien containment facility to house alien captives. Build facilities option in engineering. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. So this is actually pretty cool. This is the interface to build it. Um, but it actually appears, you know, back here as you build it. Containment. Eighty 
five dollars. Begin construction. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander, I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin research on the Ark Thrower immediately. Okay, so we will start researching the Ark Thrower. So now we are going to scan for activity. Well, I guess we just have to scan for activity here, so uh, we will do that and do the next mission next time. Uh, thanks a lot.